I'm here at HP Discover in Madrid with Harsenj and OneSphere announced, I think, at Madrid last year, and, and now here we are again. And what's new with OneSphere over the past year? So time does fly, doesn't it? Right? One year ago, I can't, you know, I can't imagine it's been one year since we launched it. But the beauty of OneSphere, if you look at how we built it, right, it's a SaaS platform that was designed to manage private cloud and give you visibility into your public cloud and give you some control and guardrails that IT could have to over, over the enterprise in terms of how they use infrastructure. That was the goal of OneSphere. Over the past year, we have been very busy building a bunch of other you know, things on top of it. So, for example, one of the things that we announced at, at Discover this week was container as a service. Right? So, with OneSphere now, you could deploy a complete Kubernetes cluster on-prem and off-prem. So simultaneously, simultaneously in both? Simultaneously in both. Simultaneously in both areas, and the same Kubernetes cluster in each place. Right? So, the same Kubernetes engine is deployed, same version, so you can have consistency across clouds. And what that does is that frees up the IT ops guys and the developers from figuring out their own cube admin and cube cuddle and all those different things that they have to configure and manage. We do that for them. It's a complete managed Kubernetes service. And they are used to using those APIs of Kubernetes and they have direct access to Kubernetes as if it were there. On top of that, we actually added in a tiller server which enables uh, customers to use Helm charts. So we import public Helm charts from public repositories or private repositories, enabling a very fluent, you know, or a fluid CI CD pipeline. So customers can have a CI CD pipeline that is publishing all these artifacts to repository and we can automatically import that into the service catalog. So dramatically in, in increasing service delivery and the ability for developers to use those apps across the enterprise. So have you gotten any immediate feedback about, uh, about this announcement? How are, how are people uh, viewing this in terms of how they will implement it? So implementation, like we said, right, is, is designed to automate the deployment pieces and enable the developers the choice that they have. So feedback has been great so far in terms of just looking at the ease of use. I think that's the key, right? And making this managed as a SaaS, that's the big plus. So, so what else should I know about OneSphere? So there's a couple of things that we announced, right? So if you look at you know, our, our three main areas, which is automation, which, which we just talked about, yep. right? How do we automate the infrastructure with Kubernetes as a service? Uh, then you have information, where we have now enhanced and bringing in more visibility into your cost in public cloud. So you can run dynamic reports, you can do various pivot tables, you could have customized reports for you, so you can have you know, time windows in terms of, okay, or year, year over year comparison, month over month comparison in terms of how your cost is uh, trending. The important aspect of this is that this is actionable data for people to actually right size their infrastructure in private and public, right? So if you think about what, what, what generally happens, I've talked to so many customers and they have these extra large VMs sitting in Amazon, they don't even know what they're paying for it, yep. right? A bill comes at the end of the month, oh my God, there's a sticker shock, right? So this gives you a continuous view into your cost and utilization on those servers. So now you can right size it. So there's no need for me to have an extra large VM if I'm only 10% utilized. Makes right? sense. Yep. So I can reduce the size and improve my economics. That's one big factor in terms of information that we do. The last one is control, which is about providing guardrails to IT to enable better governance across the enterprise. So the things that we have added is running rules on your AWS account and Azure accounts, right, your public cloud accounts, and saying compliance with HIPAA, GDPR, and these kind of things. Right? So you can run it in a continuous basis. You can find out which ports are open, which ports need to be closed, and there's a report that tells you what you need to do in order to be compliant to all these rules. So rather than developers just going crazy and deploying things and not caring about security, and then IT finally rubbing their heads on how do we tackle this, we, we can be proactive with it. So you're simplifying that process, because otherwise you probably have to write something in-house to do that for you. Yeah, absolutely. And you have someone monitoring it constantly, right? So that, that becomes a challenge. So that's some of the cool things that we are announcing at Discover that we have already you know, that's, that's Good traction cool. with customers, fantastic you know, view on how we are approaching this problem. And, and the beauty of this solution is, again, the SaaS delivered piece, right? Which is completely managed by HPE and operated by HPE.